is factor 3 black ghost and I'll be showing you on how to fix exportation bones. Now what are exportation bones really? Well exportation bones are well they're located in the, in the armor they are here one two three four and they basically help make uh, be more flexible basically. So some people might run into a problem like this see how the arms look a little weird that's because the expectation bones aren't set properly now I have a way that will fix these without using the semi-standard plugin for bones because I used that one and it didn't work that well for me so what are we gonna what we're going to do is we're gonna open PMX editor you can use PMD editor as well but I use PMX so now we're just going to find our file Look for it and open it up. So now we have our model here. So we need to deselect the vertex. This will, you know, highlight part of the body, and we don't want that. So we want to deselect that, and we want to select the bone tab. So we're gonna want to click on the bone tab over here, right here. Now let's look up on the exhortation bones. We have four. So we first need to identify what number the exhortation bone is. Click this one, we see it's 20. This one's 27. This one's 58. And this one's 65. So uh, we, we are gonna, I'm going to start on the right arm. So we click the exhortation bone is located between the shoulder and the elbow. We see it's 20. We want, we're going to link this to another bone. The bone that we're going to link it to is the bone that's connected from the elbow to the wrist. So this long one here. We don't want to select this small, this small little uh, bone here because then it's not going to work at all. So we want to select this one here. So, that. so we see it's number 26. Now keep that memory memorize because we're going to link the universal bone to uh, 26. Universal bone is also another way to say expectation bone. So, sorry for that. Uh, so, we go back to the expectation and we want to link to 26. Good. Now, we, now this moves the, the expectation bone entirely. So, we have to fix the X limit. To fix it, it'll fix it automatically. All you need to do is press this arrow. We also need to turn on the local and we press this arrow as well to set it. So we fixed that one already. Now we do f uh, the universal bone that's located between the wrist and the elbow. We click it. We see that it's 27. We want to connect this bone bone to the wrist bone. We see the wrist bones. We click it and we see that it's 31. So we want to link it to 31. It changes the whole thing. We have to click this arrow, turn on local, and uh, click the arrow to enable it as well. Now we just fix the entire right arm. Now we do the left arm. So we do the exact same process. Figure out the universal bone. We see that it's 58. Click the bone that's connected from the elbow to the wrist. The long one, not the short one. We see it's 64. Have that memorized. We click back to the universal bone. Uh, link it to 64. Click the arrow to re to change uh, to change it. Local. Click the arrow again, and we fix that one already. Now we do the universal bone that connects from the elbow to the wrist. We identify 65. We want to connect it to the wrist bone. Click the wrist bone. 69. So we want to link it to 69. Reconfigure, turn on local, and, re and add and enable that as well. So now we just fix the exhortation bones. That's easy. That that's just how you do it. That takes just like three minutes, and you'll be done. So I'm going to save this as exhortation. And now we are going to close this. So, 
I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add in my new model with the fixed rotations. Load motion data and let's see if it works. As you can see, the expectation modes have been fixed. The arms look completely normal. And so that's basically how you fix expectation modes. Uh, if you have any questions, just put, uh, well, ask them in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you.